Good morning, my friends. And if you are new, I am Lee, and I welcome you to the channel today. Let this get this video rocking, and I'm going to show you my January, February trash to treasures, what I'm going to replenish, and what is going in the trash, and I am not going to be replenishing. So I don't have a lot, but let's get this thing going. To replenish my It brush bath that I clean my brushes with. This is about halfway down, and when it gets about halfway down, you better believe I'm going to Lee is going to replenish this because this is the best brush cleaner that I certainly have found to clean my brushes with. Price point, it's great. When I get done with my makeup brushes, I always clean them with this, put them back, and they're ready to go when I do my face again. It's the It Cosmetics, and it's called the Brush Bath. And just spread a little on a, on a paper towel, back and forth, wipe it back and forth. Fantastic. I'm going to re be replenishing this. But it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay. And there's a lot of makeup in here. And I can't tell you, this makeup goes and goes and goes. It's like the Energizer Bunny. You cannot use hardly a tube up. But somewhere along the line, I'm finally just about to use this tube up. And this happens to be the Light Honey. I don't use as much as the Light Honey as I do the other shade. And different times throughout the year, I will mix it. I use more of the Light Honey than I do the second shade. So I don't need to replenish the second shade that I mix it. I mix it in a little, in a little pot and I stir it up good, put the lid on it, and then it's mixed. This particular one I do use more, so I do have to replenish the light honey. And it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay, and it's just a Maybelline. It's number 105, and it's called Pink Wink. And this little thing, I always have a backup, and that is down to there. I want you to look at that. It's down to there. So I have got to replenish my Pink Wink for sure. Maybelline Pink Wink. It's a staple of mine, and I love it, dearly love it. And what I do with my, these little labels that you see on the bottom when I get ready to go re replenish something, I have no idea because that is so tiny. So what I do is I have my little label maker and I go across and I put the label of the, the name of the, the uh, lip gloss right on there. And as you can see, it's the e.l.f. and it's the sparkling rose. Very easy to see. And when I go to replenish it, great lip gloss. Goes with so many colors. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. It goes with my pink wink. It goes with so many spring and summer colors. But anyway, that's the e.l.f. Sparkling Rose, that baby's going to be replenished, that's for sure. And I'm going to re be replenishing this, and it's the e.l.f. concealer. And I think I use the Fair Beige in this, but it just comes like, like so, and it has a little sponge. This concealer price point is very, very on the low end. It's a fantastic concealer for the price. And don't underestimate the price of some of these products. Some of these cosmetics are overpriced. Some of them high end, low end. I, I don't think I picked anything up from e.l.f. that I really, really don't adore. I'm moving right along to mascara. If you've been with me for a few months anyway. It's been a few months since I have talked about mascara. Mascara, um, the essence. And as you well know, my favorite, I have three different formulas of essence mascara on my dressing table. Is the one in the green tube. It's kind of the turquoise green tube. But I also have the one in the purple. This is a good mascara, too. It's the, the Lash of the Princess Lash by Essence. And um, I like this one, too, but I still like the, the green tube better. And I also have the one that says, I, lo 
I love extreme. I love extreme. That's what it is. It's by Essence. And on this particular mascara, I thought, well, I will try that. And I do like it. But it has such a... See the wand on that? If you have super, super long lashes that I do not have, and you can just get in there and build those babies up, I think this mascara wand would be, this mascara would be great for you, for you ladies, but um, I don't have those super, super spider lashes that I would love to have, that I used to have, but anyway, when I go to put this on, I think, oh, I can hardly get in there with my little sparse lashes, but um, I managed to use it, but I don't think I'll be replenishing this particular one, the one that says, I love extreme. Just a reminder, on your mascara, two and a half to three months, ditch them. You'll get an eye infection. You need to ditch them, get a new one out every, at least every three months, if not sooner. Date them. I do, so I don't get into problems with my eyes. I have enough problems with my eyes. I don't need to run into any more issues. This mascara by Essence, the one I just showed you, and... There's nothing wrong with the mascara. It's just these little stubby lashes. And when I film, I normally wear lashes and put like a little extension or something, but today I did not. I just put on a little bit of shadow and a little bit of mascara on a little bit of tight line the upper. That's what I have to bring you today. Like I said, it's a gorgeous day today. I would love to go out and just take me a nice long walk in the sunshine, but I can't do that. It's super windy. We've had a lot of wind here coming from the west. Put a smile on your face and be happy that uh, you have a home and, and things to be thankful for. I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, I thank you for watching today from the bottom of my big heart for my loyal subscribers that come back week after week and leave me a comment, hit the like button, and support me and stay with me. And I am is so eternally grateful for, and I thank you for each and every one of you. And make today better than yesterday. And remember that Lee loves you. Bye-bye.